Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today not so at home to Woking, not so eighth in the National League table as Solihull won in midweek to overtake us. However, we've only lost two at home this season and most of the other National League games are off today, so it gives us a good chance to get back into the playoff places. Also, not signed Joel Began on loan from Cardiff City yesterday. Please say if I'm saying his name right. He's in the squad today and if he starts, let's see how he does. Come on, Knots, come on, you pies. Let's do this. half an hour in it's still nil nil knots have gone away a little from what they were doing in the opening minutes we're not we're not um we're not linking up as well as we were earlier dennis o'brien and roberts were linking up well in the opening minutes but it just that's not the way anymore rawlington still well at centre back he's bringing the ball out of defence well He's returned. <laughs> he has returned and he might as well have not bothered because there's not been a great deal going on out there today, really. One or two of our players seem like they're starting to believe some of the hype and, and that they're world beaters and that they're not. And trying to play Hollywood football when you've got a storm brewing and you're playing non-league football, it's not really the thing to do. I think they need to play percentages, play the safe stuff. A little bit more movement would be nice if one or two of them could just do that second half. Nil Woking. That's what you get. We had we had two good chances in the first half. Both should have been both should have been scored. Wooten and O'Brien both should have scored to put us two nil up. We should we should we should have been two nil up. We aren't, and we paid the, we paid the price for it. We're too lethargic as well. Yes, the rest been bad. But we're making silly decisions inside the final third and inside our own half, and it's not helping us. Cleared or free kick, which one we're going for? First man. What, don't you think it'll beat the first man? Is that the third option? Option three is the third man. You're right. You are actually correct. <laughs> The level Christian Dennis from close range again. We run at the opposition, and look what happens. Enzio did it, we almost got a goal. Roberts has just done it, and we've got a goal. We make it look so difficult, but when we do do it, it, it looks simple. Yes. Oh. Come on. So, we're not throwing. Kelly Evans goes to take the ball off the Woken player, gets the ball, the Woken player then goes down for no reason and then Pierce Bird rolls him off the pitch. Brilliant stuff. Well played, Pierce. That's one of our issues today. We're not thinking, are we? We're not thinking through decisions. We know the Woke, we know they're going to go down. But we insist on silly little fouls for no reason. 
We know the ref's gonna blow his whistle for it every time, but we're not thinking, are we? It's frustrating. I, I think largely brought about oh. by ourselves. Um, we we had to go behind to really want to put anything oh, into it. And to be honest, we kind of got away with it a little bit because they had a nailed on penalty that wasn't given. Um, they had two fantastic chances as well that they didn't hit the target, and we could we could have been two or three behind. Um, we came back into it, it jolted us into life a bit. We got a goal. Do we deserve any more than one point? Maybe not. I, I, I don't think so. I don't think we can we can be too hard done by. Although you know, you, you always look at little incidents, and yeah, they could have had a penalty. We could have had a penalty. Um, but I think this is fair. Bad as the ref was, we can't blame we can't blame the officials for drawing that. That was of our own fault. We haven't won the game because because it's our own fault. We we were too lethargic on the ball. Our passing was poor. We just we just we just lazy on occasions as well. Knots one, Woking one. A frustrating game. We do move back up into the playoff places. But it was one of them games today, like it was against Dover, that was really, really frustrating. As bad as the officials were, we did not help ourselves at all. Our decision making and passing, especially in the second half, were poor. We, we just rushed into decisions. We didn't think through where we wanted the ball to go, where, where it needed to be. Bird and Rawlinson were solid, but when they had the ball, nobody gave them an option to play out from the back with. Nobody gave Bird and Rawlinson an option and that today is where we missed Michael Doyle. We needed someone to take control of the game from midfield and just get knots a bit of authority in the game because we were lacking that a lot. We should have known from the first half that when we had the momentum, Woking were going to do their best to try and break up the play. And in the second half, once we got our equaliser, Woking did their best to break up the play again trying to stop our momentum to get that second goal. But we didn't learn. We, we got drawn into silly fouls and foul, foul in the opposition. And it's annoying because we just didn't think through anything really at all. We rushed into decisions. We knew, we knew the referee was going to give... We knew the referee was going to give them a free kick. So why bother fouling them in the first place? You've got to use your head. You've got to think through what you're doing before you do it. Today was basically the Dover game on repeat, but with two goals. There are similarities from today's game and the home game with Dover. We had a good one-on-one -on -one chance that we should have scored. Kyle Wooten gets played through. I believe it's by Christian Dennis. He should score. He has all the time in the world to score. And he hits it straight at the keeper. We had other chances today as well. Jim O'Brien skied one into the cop. Callum Roberts missed from close range in the second half. We've got to be scoring these chances. We've got to be taking these chances. Because before before half time we should be 2-0 up from Wooten and O'Brien. And that that could cost us climbing further up the league. And it might become nervy near the end of the season that these missed chances will cost us. And just like the Dover game, where the opposition frustrates us, we fail to break them down. And it's becoming an issue, because we're drawing too many games again. We've won 13, but we've drawn 12 games this season. And some of the games we have drawn, we should have converted them into wins. But we haven't won them, because we failed to break the opposition down. And once again, it's... It's going back to being brave with the ball. And today, today in the first half, for the first 10 to 15 minutes, we were fine. The link-up play was brilliant. We played some great football. But after that, we just went away from what we were doing well. And we just stopped. I don't know why, but we just stopped. We stopped attacking well. We got the ball into Callum Roberts a lot. And Woking's left-back was on, was on a yellow card. And we didn't exploit that enough. Because every time Roberts ran at him, he got past him. Everything ran through Callum Roberts. He was brilliant today. But we didn't use him enough. 
We knew Woking's left back was on a yellow card. We should have put the pressure on him. Every time it should have gone into Robertson's feet to, to run at him. Because if he, if he makes a foul, he's off. And we've... Talk, speaking of Callum Roberts, he was brilliant today. Man of the match, best player on the pitch by a country mile. Everything went through him. He ran at players, he took them on. He probably should have had a penalty as well later on. Apparently he was told by the referee that he went down too quickly. Not really sure how you can go down too quickly under a slight tackle on a pitch that's been affected by rain. But anyway, we'll have to go with it. Yeah, cracking performance today by Carl Roberts. And deservedly man of the match. It's these type of games where not struggle to break the opposition down and we're missing that something extra in the midfield to help us get the three points. And like I said already, it's these games that are really frustrating and that we've got to start doing better in. But the positives, we are back up into the playoff places and Callum Roberts, Callum Roberts is just magic. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you always subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Send in your questions as well for the next vlog. Be safe, be champions, and as always, Toulouse.